Well, I knew of the Ku Klux Klan all my life and always thought of it as, as a historical organization that Pulaski was sort of proud that it was organized here. It was a historical thing that they, the ones that organized it, were trying to get our rights back. It was started before I, I was born, so, you know, I, it's just something you grow up with. Uh, I, the Ku Klux Klan is just, I mean, it's just a way of belief. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion and beliefs there. So, you know, it's kind of a touchy subject. You don't know who you're talking to will understand or want, you know, believe in that belief. It, it's just a touchy subject right there. that I feel that most white people in this community feel that the Ku Klux Klan was something great. And that you basically, you never hear much of anyone really saying that the Klan was really wrong. Living in the place that's a crucible of the First Amendment makes police work real interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, kind of like jumping into the middle of a cactus patch completely nude would be interesting. It <laughs> has its own set of problems with it. Uh, but it also speaks to the heart of what I think fundamental America is. And free speech is part of that. We're going to treat it like a summer fest, a, you know, ultimate kicker, isn't this great? Lots of puns about how clantastic it is or lynch-rific. Um, just use all the negative aspects of it and call them all positive aspects, just with great shining attitude and America's sweethearts, the KKK. And, and the other, other, I don't know, we'll have to edit it and figure out ways we can... Uh, um, uh, w without being, without losing the spirit of, of summer fun, um, mock the message.